I've got this really nice um, vertical composition. And uh, this is kind of a soft, calmer type uh, mood photo. I've got some nice soft pink on the uh, mountains. Yesterday it was bright orange, but today there's some clouds. So we just get nice soft lighting, which is nice because I actually wanted to focus on these boulders today instead of doing a panorama. And man, there's a is a really nice photo so far. It's not a tricky exposure either. The lighting is getting a lot more intense. Uh, it's more of a salmon color, kind of a pinkish orangish color. Kind of like it was yesterday. Oops, my camera's not on. Kind of uh, like it was yesterday when I did my panorama. And I don't really mind that uh, that right now there's no light on the boulders since it's kind of more of a soft light type of image. I have a couple other compositions but I might stick with this the whole sunrise because this is really nice. Also guys, um, even if I had the sunlight on these rocks, my tripod would be in the photo because uh, back there is where the sun is rising. And um, ooh, it keeps getting better. So, yeah, but I really enjoy this composition that I have. It's framed very nicely. I think I've got a, a good amount of this boulder, the next boulder, and the other ones. But I'm just trying to capture the juxtaposition of the boulders. Alright guys, so right now there's these, this uh, weird effect on the mountains where the bottom part of them are lit and then the top part of them are not lit. Actually, now the top part's a little, little. I'm gonna take a photo of this just because the lighting's really interesting. It's getting kind of uh, different because of the clouds on the horizon. It's falling on certain places on the mountain and not on other ones. So I think that's really interesting. That was really cool, it just happened. So that effect where the lighting was on the bottom and on the top got more intense and there's like a, a beam of light across the bottom and then the top of it was just this golden color. I think that's going to be my image because that lighting was really unique. Um, sometimes the, the clouds on the horizon can block your light, but in this case it kind of made it a bit more interesting. I'm really happy with this photo right now. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, I'm using a polarizer, which works somewhat nicely, and then I've got this... Um, three-stop neutral density filter which uh, balances out the exposure and it works really well. For this type of thing you don't really need that uh, that many stops in terms of filters but yeah that's what I'm using so I'm gonna see what the light is like just kind of uh, stay here for a little while and then go back and take a nap. So one challenge with photographing the Alabama hills is there's so many different rocks and stuff that it's hard to find something that really stands out. So what I recommend is finding your own spot and kind of just searching around that area for some boulders for the foreground. Um, just find some unique rock formations that really stand out and try to use those as a uh, foreground interest. That's what I've been trying to do and I found this really cool boulder area. There's some boulders back there. I'm checking one out over there. This place has pretty much endless compositions. After scouting for sunrise for the next morning, we decided that a Milky Way shoot would work better since we had a long drive ahead of us and I already got the photos that I wanted. We ended up photographing Mobius Arch, a pretty popular location for star photography, and I got two great photos. One of them was a horizontal composition, 
with light painted on the whole scene, and the other one was a vertical composition with the light coming from within the arch. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. Just let it